Alright. Well, I just made a video on how to be fucked by the man, but this one is. God, oh, Tucker's by the tail is plain to see. Yeah. All right. Let's open up this window. Open up this window. I'm going to fuck up my back somehow. Remember the first row, people. What the fuck is this? Oh, the ham. Shit. Yeah, this is tough. What the fuck is this? I thought someone was fucking with me. I think they know better not to fuck with me with my food. That's one thing you don't fuck with is some another man's food. You never fuck with another man's food. You hear that? <coughs> that is a no-no. I see something going in my motherfucking lunch bill. They gonna be fucking doubt what. That's for sure. Doubt what. Fuck my food. Yeah, that's what it is. That's where I draw the fucking, I draw the line on that shit. You can fuck with me all you want, but don't fuck with my food. Okay. Alright, uh. Got that goddamn place in here. Something smells bad up in there. I don't know what. Damn it. Damn it. Don't you all hate that shit? Don't you hate that shit? You ain't got a bag in there. You should be throwing shit in there. Every day. Every day. You never have any dirty dishes. Never. There's no reason for that. That's pure laziness. My dad did not raise me to be lazy. My dad did not raise me to be lazy. take Friday off, but I said, you know what? Fuck it. 
I was going to, but I decided not to. So I think I'm just going to take next Friday off. Payday Friday, that makes sense, right? Yeah. They won't even see that one coming. <laughs> they won't even see that one coming. Take the next Friday off. And it's between you and I. Let's see. April Fool's Day. <laughs> it's on a Sunday. Well, I guess I'll be calling in on Monday. So I'll take next Friday off, which will be the 30th. I'll take the 30th off. I'm going to take Monday, Monday off. So that's going to be a one, two, three, four day weekend. Go back to work Tuesday. There you go. Ha ha ha. Yeah. They won't see that one coming. Ha 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 ha. Yeah. Because every three months they get a call in day. And I'm going to take that. I'm going to take that day. Yeah, I'm going to take that day. I know, I know my, my ex-boss Howard says, Carl. Why would you burn up your calling day? Why don't you just, you know, schedule that day off? When you schedule that day off, you get to take that day off, but you still got your calling day. That's besides the point. The point is, I got a calling day, I'm going to take it. Maybe I like it better when I call in. Yeah. I, I I told him, I said, yeah, you're smart. You're smart. Because, you know, calling day just in case. And just something, something happens. Something, something came up and you need to take a day off for, to do something. You know, you can't go to work because this happened or that happened, whatever. That's what it's for. But if you burn up right away, <laughs> you know, they don't, you know. If you come in and you ain't got a calling day, that's when you get a write-up. Three write-ups and you're out the fucking door. Yeah, that's how they fucking play. For attendance, you don't get to collect on appointment. Oh, not for attendance. I'm there every motherfucking day. That's why I take one day off every three months. I call in one one time every three months. I earned it, I deserve it, I'm gonna do it. Okay. Whatever. So I'm gonna have a four day weekend. I don't care what anybody says. They just don't see you coming. Freaks everybody out. Like, wow, he took Friday up and Monday too. Well, yeah, he had a calling day. Oh. He used up his calling day? Oh. That was very smart, ain't he? Really? No, not really. He's not smart at all. Because now, if he does call in, that's gonna be a write up. Oh, they love that shit. Hell yeah. They love that shit. Fire that motherfucker. <laughs> you been here 20 years? Fire that motherfucker. Yeah. Fire that motherfucker. Why is he still here? 20 years? Oh, hell no. Fire that motherfucker. I bet he getting all kinds of vacation time. Fire that motherfucker. God damn it. Why is he still here?
Croy says, I'm only there out of pity. They feel sorry for me. That's what Croy says. Croy says, they, I'm only there because they out of pity. Pity. Yeah, out of pity. They feel sorry for me. That's all. Out of pity. He says, you know, the only reason why I've done every fucking job at the factory is because nobody wants me. It took me 20 years to go through all the fucking departments. Now I'm on the last department in the world. And Troy looks at it this way. When he fires me, I'm done. But he don't realize Patrick is waiting for me. I'm not going to quit welding. To go to the paint line, that'd be senseless. But, you know, I think they have an agreement. Well, I already heard Mike say to the guy in, in the paint line that, uh, you want him? Do you want him? You can have him. But, your boy. Make me feel real good inside. Yeah. This is how I get treated. 20 years later. This is how I get treated. You want them? You can have them. He's useless. We, we burnt the motherfucker up. He, he's fucking useless. He's like an old motherfucking horse. You know, you can whip that motherfucker and whip that motherfucker and it's pulling that big ass heavy wagon. One of these days in the snowstorm of 1978... Biggest snowstorm, and that fucking horse is pulling that motherfucking trailer full of hay up that motherfucking hill, slipping on ice and shit and snow. And that he just falls over and dies. And they're whipping him and whipping him, and he's dead. The horse ain't moving no more. Now they got a disconnect from the horse and shit. You know, they just push him over and side of the Snow plow, plow snow over on top of them. Like to let, let the fucking wolves get them. Pretty fucking sad. 20 fucking years. job faster and cheaper. You ain't got to worry about paying him all that money for nothing. All that PTO and vacation time and all that shit. Just fire the motherfucker get over with. Why the fuck is he still here? I want to know now. I want to know why. Why is he still here? Why? Well, Howard said, Howard said, well, he's here every day, and that counts for something. That's what Tom told me. Tom told me that. Almost made me cry. Uh, Howard actually likes me? No. He don't like you. He just pities you. He feels sorry for you. That's it. He just feels sorry for you. Well, that comes for something. He's here every day. No, he don't do much. What do y'all expect from me? No, I've proven myself. Time after time after time. I've proven myself. Now look at Mario. He's 80 years old. And he's getting body parts replaced. They wore the man out so bad that... He had to retire, even though he wanted to work a couple more years. I don't know why. And I said, uh, I said, the, I said, old man Maury, Maury, why don't you just retire? You're 80 years old. He looked at me, and his eyes got big as his glasses. 
as big as his glasses. Why, so I can go home and die? Caravan is what kept him going. So now he's probably dying. As <sighs> more if I was you. You'd what? What? What would you do if you were me? I fucking retire. I'd be spending the rest of my life in fucking Hawaii or something or Florida sipping on a fucking martini. You know? Fuck, you proved yourself, man. 80 fucking years. God. Still working? He was there just as long as me. I think we had this difference that either he started six months after me or six months before me. Something like that. We had it all figured out. We talked about it all the time. Time after time, we talked about it. Talking about six months. Either he was there six months longer or six months after. Moria was a big hater, though. Yeah, he couldn't stand me. He couldn't stand me because I was loud. I was loud and people liked me. Moria's an attention guy. He he didn't want to get all the attention. Well, he's an old man. Like, look at me, look at me. I'm still breathing. I'm not trying to cut the guy down. I liked it, Moria. Moria was all right. Not trying to cut the guy down. Don't get me wrong. Well, I feel the guy. You know, that came. Dude, <laughs> he was alive before World War II. He served in the Army before World War II. He served in the Army in World War I. That's how old he was. Morrie was so old that he served in the army before, before World War II. That's what fucked up my dad in World War II. Vietnam. Vietnam fucked up my dad. Get him the way he was. That's why I am the way I am. Yeah. Just like my daddy. Well, that's a good thing or a bad thing. <laughs> yeah, I'm making my sandwich. Y'all seen me do it before, right? Ain't nothing different. It's the same every time. Every time. Every time. Same every time. This time it's gonna be maybe four, see? Not just three, it's gonna be four. I believe I could probably get two more on here. Or one big fat one. Like my mama used to say, we'll see. We'll see. I hated those two words. We'll see. <laughs> Whatever. That shit never happened. Okay. Pepper. Real thick, raw meat. Never change. Oh, don't forget the uh, don't forget the uh, that's right, Lipton onion mushroom soup mix. Oh shit, I'm running out of pepper. Never run out of salt though. Why is there always more salt than pepper? Huh? I'm gonna 
Why is it always more than stuff with that? Fine. Okay. Lipton onion soup mix. There we go. You know what? I'm going to use the whole package. Fuck it. There you go. Whole package. Fuck it. Okay. Oh, shit. Where's the garlic? Where's the garlic? Oh, come on. There it is. That's it. Push it down. There you go. Okay. Cheese it back. Troy's complaining to me. I got 16 parts done all day. 16. Well, actually, I did 17. But he won't let me clean. That's why I made that video. Because I feel fucked by the man. And he even actually had the nerve to laugh at me. He had the nerve to laugh at me. Because I was let him get away with that shit. I said, you know what? I'm not even going to argue with you. Fuck it. I'm not even going to argue with him. You know? Why do you let him get away with that shit? You know what? If that makes his dick hard, let that make his dick hard. You know? He just wants the kid to look good. He wants the kid to look good. The kid got four done, you know, within an hour, when he, when he only did three in an hour. He did three in, in one hour. But I had issues with my, uh, with my, uh, with my water. Stopped twice, and I had one fucked up part, didn't push it all the way down. So I had to cut it off, grind it down, and rerun it. That took time. And Trey made sure of that. So just let me put it to the side, because that's what the other guys do. They put the bad part to the side and just keep going. No, I couldn't do that, no. That's what it's called. Getting fucked by the man. <laughs> I like getting fucked by the man. It feels good. Fuck me harder, daddy. Fuck me harder, daddy. 
Yeah, I like getting fucked by the man. Yeah, ginger snap. Ginger snap, motherfucker. <laughs> yeah, we had to talk about that today, me and Troy. We got him on YouTube. You don't care. Yeah. Talk about him being a. What the fuck is that smell? I'm like, seriously. What the fuck does that smell? It smells like something dead, something rotten. Is that an air conditioner? Dead mouse or dead bird? Looks like there's something in there. That's where the smell is where it's coming from too. There's something I like to smell when I gotta eat. Fuck, man. Lord, the Lord will give you thanks for this food that I'm about to eat. May I ask that you keep me healthy and strong. And Lord, may I give thanks for keeping working at Cover and Girls all these years. And may I wish I continue working there many more years to come. Please, Lord, help me. I am trying to do my best at my job. Help protect me from all evil and harm. Amen. Okay. Well, Troy says he's the devil, I think. I think he said that, that he's the devil. He said he could be my worst nightmare. Whatever. So if you're watching, I'm sorry to tell you this, but ever since you got that position, no one likes you. I'm sorry. I know you could probably care less. But I said you give me Troy, I still like you. I believe you do have a heart, and I believe you do have a soul. And if it's caravan that's making you evil, well, I feel sorry for you. I tried to give you a hug, but you won't let me. First story told me, 